All right. All right. If I know we was going to match then, you know, I might have wore something different. It's been a rough week for me. We see. A long month. A bad year. But we going to get this word, ain't we? Amen. Yeah, well, y'all pray for me. Amen. Why y'all looking at me like that? <laughs> we got a problem? Not at all. No? Everything good? Everything, Everything good with me? Good. All right. Well, let's turn our Bibles in. Amen. All right? Let's go to uh, let's Matthew uh, chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 27. You got to say amen. 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 Oh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 27. There is no, there's no 27. Oh, uh, did I say that? I'm, I'm, I meant to say Mark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been a long week. <laughs> and then if somebody could find that scripture that says, uh, uh, it says, uh, come as you are. Let me know if you find that. Let me know if you find that. If we can read, please. Everybody got it? Amen. 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 All right. No. So, where are you at? Mark 3 27. We in Mark in 3 and 27. I said it's been a long week. Y'all with me? Amen. I'm sorry. So, Mark 3 and verse 27 says, No man can enter into a strong man's house. Y'all got it? Amen. Can y'all read with me, please? Yep. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, mm -hmm. and then he will spoil his house. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Let's read that again. No, no man, man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad I'm free. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Let me just sit this down over here. I feel so distracted right now. Like something's not right. You ever been to church and been distracted? Yeah. I have too. Come on. <sighs> Thinking about my past. Thinking about the things that I try to hide from myself. Mm -hmm. Why is everybody looking at me? Is, is there is something wrong? Mm. What's wrong? What is, what's wrong? Chained and bound. I'm chained and bound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as free. I was in praise and worship with y'all. I felt the glory of the Lord. Mm. Ah. I got my mask on. Mm. I need somebody to help me. Hey, uh, can you help me out? Thank you. You're gorgeous. Mm. All right now. Thank you. Oh, what's this? Hey, I thought you was going to help me with my mask. No? Can somebody pray for me? Gracious Heavenly Father. Brother Keith, can you come help me with my mask, please, brother? I need some help. Can you, can you please? Somebody said I had on a mask and, and I need some help. Can you come assist me, please? There we go. That's me now. I'm good now. We good now. Everybody good? Amen. Everybody free now. We all free. We all good to go. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody all right? Yeah. All right. I keep asking the same question, but y'all keep staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> See, I put that mask on today because I was trying to hide myself from y'all. 
because I didn't want y'all to know what I was feeling and, and, and what was on my mind. So I had to protect myself when I put that mask on for a reason. But somebody saw it. So I had somebody to help me take it off. But we good now. Everything is all right. God is faithful. Jesus on the main line. We can run back that Hosanna song again. We can shout, worship, sing praises. Something's still wrong. Something's still wrong. All right, well, what's next? I can't move. I'm good. You see me do my thing up here? You can haul them shake up in this thing. You see it? No, but I, it's, I'm not, I'm still. Brother Andre, can you help me out, man? Oh, that's what it was. It's the cups. Can you, can you come help me get these cups off, bro? Because I'm calling on my brothers, because I needed help. For whatever reason. I appreciate you, bro. All your prayers. I know God is, God is amazing, ain't he? Yes. Oh. Woo! Woo! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Oh, praise God. Woo! It's nothing like that. Okay, all right. I'm, I lied to you guys. I had on cuffs, too. I wore the cuffs because I didn't feel like embracing anybody today. I didn't want to give anybody a hug or put my arms around or even when testimony services and when it was when God was talking to me, I didn't want to raise my hand. Uh -huh. So I got my hands up now. Y'all see that? Thank my hands is up. I can wave my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful to be in this place. Yeah. Anybody can raise their hand? Amen. Wait a minute. Hold on. Amen. I'm going to raise my hand eventually. At some point. Uh -huh. Some point. Uh -huh. Some point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Something else is holding me, though. Yeah. Now, this right here, you probably can't help me with because this is more of an uh, internal thing, if you will. Uh -huh. This is something that has nothing to do with y'all, uh -huh. but all will happen to me. Uh -huh. Things that's been passed down to me. Mm -hmm. Things that I struggle with. Uh -huh. yes. Things that had me at a point where I thought I could get my hand up. I thought I was free because the chains was off and mm -hmm. Come on. you could see my face and you could hear my praise. Uh -huh. But that internal thing is what's bothering me. Yeah. I like to refer to it as generational curses. Uh-huh. And that thing that was passed down from my grandfather and to my dad and unto me, and I just seemed to keep stumbling because I was always told, you're going to be like your daddy. You act like your daddy. You look like your daddy. Well, if you walk like a duck, if they quack like a duck, it's a duck, right? That's what I thought, too. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> So I gotta get free of this. Man, you can't help me. You can't help me, but maybe she can help me. Can you come help me? Maybe. How you doing? All right. Don't take the chains off. Don't. Don't take the chains off. But I'll see you later. Mine. I want to be free, though. Uh -huh. I want God to really saturate my soul. Yes, yes. I want God to deliver me from these generational curses and all these different things that has happened to me from generation to generation to generation. I want to be the one to stop it. Come on, yeah. talk to us. Mm. I want to be the one. Mm. Lord, I hear your voice. Yes. I hear you calling my name. 
Late in the midnight hour, I feel you, Lord God, wake me up out of my sleep, but I, uh -huh. I'm still bound yeah. in my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my mom? And my father. I can't find them. I'm dealing with mommy and daddy issues. Uh -huh. I was wishing that they was here so they could just hear me just stand up and give my testimony. Yes. But I can't find them. My daddy was never around. My mama didn't care. At least I thought. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I probably was a mistake. At least the way she treated me, she treated her boyfriends better than she treated me. Mm -hmm. And when I thought I was doing good, she let me know where I was failing at. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm hurt. But now I got my own kids. I'm gonna do different by my kids. Come on. Yeah. My little one, I, he just like me. And I'm just like my daddy. Mm. Yeah, my little girl, she reminds me of my mama. She looked like her too. Oh, let me tell you about my oldest one. Turned 13 today. <laughs> yeah. When I was 13, he doing the same thing. So I can relate to him. Mm -hmm. And my other daughter, well, I don't know how my mama was, but I can assume she gonna be just like her. Why is that? You know what, Lord? I don't want that for them. I can't do this anymore. I don't want that for them. I got to get these chains. I got to remove this generational thing. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm on the threshing floor right now. Uh. Oh, Lord. Oh, what is this? This is freedom. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. What is this? Uh. I'm all tangled up. Mm -hmm. This is how life would do you. Amen. Mm -hmm. When God sets you free, no more chains. Amen. Got some weight to it, too. Thank you, Lord. I got some weight to it. Uh -oh. I was generation from generation to generation mm -hmm. being passed down to me. Yeah, yeah. Woo, my arms is tired. Uh -huh. I was holding up the family. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on. Mm. I can do a little bit better now. Y'all feel that? Oh, can we can we raise our hands again? Come on, thank you. There we go. All right now. We free now. Yeah. We free? We free? Yes. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now I blend in. Do it. Somebody say, mm, I don't blend in. What's wrong? Unless you want to walk up, unless you want to look like that. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? That vest. That weight you got on. Oh, I forgot about that. Y'all talking about the weight. Y'all talking about this right here? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Well, see, this is mine. And, come here, beautiful. And this is my uh -huh. secret relationship. Uh -huh. mm, thank you. But she don't know this is what I bring to this relationship, too. Uh -huh. The weight of my old relationships. Mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna tell her either. Mm -hmm. Just in case, I need to pull her down. Mm -hmm. I need that weight, that counterweight, mm -hmm. to pull her down too. Because she don't know. She don't know she's a secret. Y'all see her, but y'all don't know who she is. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's time to change. I feel like I need to change. God is talking to me about being bound uh -huh. and being set free and, and taking the yokes off and 
I'm hearing these different things and a lot of y'all are just looking at me like I'm strange. I'm gonna just take it off. I'm gonna just take it off. Cause I don't need it. Fail marriage. Yep. Didn't know how to be a man. I'm supposed to let it go after I take it off? <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that. I'm still holding on. But if I let it go, everything that I loved and everything that I needed to survive is right here. Uh huh. Come on. Everything that was going to counteract when the hurt came is right here. But I'm going to let it go because y'all said so. Okay, now I really feel like uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. We good now. Huh? Nothing. You see you see something else on me? Yeah, I, I did see something, but I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not. <laughs> well, since we examining each other, what's what what do you see on Is me? Is your shirt supposed to be ripped in the back? Don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that my shirt my garments. Hold on. One second. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, I've been through some things. Come on. Come on. Come on. Break it. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. That's some internal things. Now we're getting personal. Yeah. Come mm on. -hmm. Now we personal. Uh-huh. Now you now I'm exposed. Yeah. 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 Now you now I'm exposing myself and I'm vulnerable. And I don't know what to do. Because I feel judged the way that y'all looking at me right now. Right. Right. Come on. But I feel free at the same time. How is that? How do I feel free and feel judged at the exact same time? Hmm. I know what God has done for me, but it's not enough for y'all. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. It's not enough, so now I gotta prove myself to y'all. Right, right. But these is my war wounds. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y'all weren't supposed to see this anyway. Right. Wasn't meant for y'all. This happened to me when I was two years old. Uh -huh. And I was molested. Uh -huh. And this happened when my mama abandoned me uh -huh. for a man. And the one that you saw in the back, that was from my friends. Mm -hmm. All these different wounds, but these is mine. Right. Wait. But I'm free now. No. I, I'm still not free. Mm -hmm. I'm in the house of God. Come on. The chains are off. The mask is off. I'm fully exposed. Right, right. Talk to me. But I'm still not free. Come on, mm -hmm. talk to me. What now? What's that? What's it called? A noose? What you call it? A noose? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? A noose? Where? Choking. I don't understand it. Somebody said I had a noose around my neck. I know where I'm at. Because God is a mind regulator. And I'm in the house of God. Come on. Come on. And I, and I claim to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, so I know he got me on that. Right, right. Mm. But you're being choked by the world. Mm. Where did this come from? Oh, God. Huh. 
I guess I'm more messed up than what I thought. This was my, uh, this was my backup plan. Mm -hmm. Some people call it a parachute, but I call this is my way out. Mm -hmm. This was my key. If God couldn't fix me mm -hmm. in the amount of time that I needed him to fix me, Jesus. then I will fix it myself. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Right. Help the people. But y'all weren't supposed to see that. Why are y'all watching me so close? Mm. Come on. Why do you care? Can somebody answer that? Why do y'all care? Mm -hmm. It ain't none of your business. You didn't have to go through it. It didn't happen to you. This is on me. This is my safety net. This is my parachute. I needed this. What are y'all gonna do? Brother Joe, we love you. We care about you. So I'm, I'm looking at you because I care and I'm, I'm praying and I believe God can heal, you know, those rips and tears, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. he can He can fix it for you. He can mend the broken heart and he can... I'm sorry, I'm compelled. You know what I'm saying? You don't mm. have to choose that way out. I know Thank a better you. way. Thank you. You know, God can help you take that one off and give yes. you a new one. Come on. Mm -hmm. All I needed was one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I asked y'all a question and nobody yeah. answered. Mm -hmm. And then somebody stood up in the crowd and said, she was compelled. Yeah. It pulled at her heart. Yes. And that was what I needed to know that Maybe I don't need this safety net that I so claim mm -hmm. that I needed. So I just throw that down with the rest of the yes. junk. Yes. Cause that's trash to me now. Come on. Jesus is my safety net. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Lord. But you still got that P.Y.T. Hey. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, though. <laughs> What's funny? You still got that P.Y.T. hanging around. I still got what P.Y.T.? What y'all talking about? That's, that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> we talking, ain't we? Come on. Are y'all hearing what, what God is saying? Come on. Ooh. So I need to let it go. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. We're connected. Mm -hmm. I need her. Mm -hmm. She needs me. She kept you. She told you to keep the chain. Mm -hmm. Did she? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> She's not good for me? How you know? How do I know she's good for me or not? She accepted me with my chains on her. Now I got them got on. She's still with me. Mm -hmm. She's still there for me. Talking good. Come on. Who do I need when it's late in the midnight hour? Mm. <laughs> and I need somebody to call on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do I do with that? Come on. I believe God's got something better for you, Brother Joe. <sighs> and out of the crowd again. I'm sorry. I don't know who this sister is, but she loves me. He's got something better for you, Brother Joe. He's so, got something better for you. Come on. Come on. He said God got something better for me. Something better for you. She's just a fix. <laughs> but we tied together. You, you, you can let her go. We tied. Okay. We tied. We tied. Yes. God wants to be tied to you, though, Brother Joe. Come on, come on, come on. So y'all saying I need to sever this relationship? But I'm coming to church. I'm making it to the house of the Lord. You might even catch me uh, worshiping. 
I might be working the soundboard. Right. I might be singing in the choir. That's right. <laughs> I might be preaching. Come on. Come on. But if y'all say, I need to let it go, I guess I better let it go. Come on. bro. One more time. <laughs> this time I'm going to meet you out here. Because they watching me. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just meet you out here. All right, all right. Right. <laughs> I know it's been you and me for a long time, but I think it's time for us to go our separate ways because I'm trying to do something different with my life. You can come with me. That ain't your thing? You don't know. I'll tell you what, we'll meet back this time next week. <laughs> and then we'll make a decision, okay? Just go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just put this to the side for right now because we talked about it because right, right, right. I think she might want to be saved too. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't block my blessing. Come on. Come on, come, come on. on. Put that away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, working it out. Amen. Brother Joe. That's that sister again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Do you want to be here? Do you want to be made whole? What is that? Do you want a, do you want a fresh start? Do I do want a fresh start, but that's why I'm here. We're gonna help you. We love you, brother Joe. Are you ready to give your all? I am ready to give it my all. I'm giving everything that I got. You gotta be wholehearted. You gotta be in it wholeheartedly. A double-minded man is a mistake. Always So you calling me double-minded? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because now I'm offended. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because the thing that I hold so near and dear, y'all telling me to let go of, but y'all ain't putting nothing else in this place. And with these words, these empty words that y'all giving me uh -huh. that I feel. Come on. Because they haven't had an effect on me right now. Uh-huh. Let me ask you a question. If it was you, would you do it? Brother Joe, I did it. Oh, God. You I got the done. testimony? Mm-hmm. You have the testimony? I was dating Brother Keith. He was not saved. He did not have the Holy Spirit. And the Lord told me it's either him or me. I told Keith that I, I have to, I can't go to your world. It's either my world or your world. And, you and were I willing chose to give God. That? I did. But you know what? I gave him up. And from that day forth, Keith has been here and got filled with the Holy Spirit because he provided the ram in, my, in the bush. Amen. He was my ram. God will provide. God will provide. Amen. He will provide. Yeah. Yeah. But she's fine, though. He is, too. <laughs> he is, too, and I gave him up. I'm done. I like it. I'm hurt now. I'm lonely. I'm desperate. I want to pick up each and everything in there, especially that thing right there. Uh -huh. That contingency plan that I had in place. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'm broke. Spiritually. Mentally. Physically, I ain't got no money. I ain't got nothing but Jesus. I lost my job and everything else. Mm -hmm. And y'all telling me about this great God and, and all these different things that he can do. Well, why hasn't he done it yet? Uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. I've been doing this thing for the last three years. Uh-huh. And he still ain't moved. It still ain't happened. And I feel like I got one foot in and one foot out. That's why he did it. What was that? That's why he hasn't did it. Mm. Y'all know what? Y'all say it for real because y'all got the answer. To everything. <laughs> <laughs> she said that's why he ain't did it. <laughs> that's why he ain't did it. Because why? Because my heart ain't set on him. I'm, 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 I'm setting him up for expectation. And if he don't meet my expectation, then I'm out. Mm. I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, Brother Joe. There she go again. I, mean, I know God's words to try him and prove him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I feel like the Lord is saying, you know, you get all the way in. You know, you take the step, uh-huh. you know, and he's going to do the rest for you because you, I see all your wounds. I had those too. See, my, my shirt, you know, I don't have all those wounds anymore because God came by and he healed me too. Uh-huh. He healed my heart. He's healing my mind every single day. And so I can testify like Sister Sharice can testify uh-huh. that, you know, God can, he can, he can remove all that. He can heal all that, but you have to take the first step. So prove God. I'm telling you, I tried him and I found out that he is the difference maker. Okay. Because you said so. Okay. Not because I want to. Mm. Mm. I'll try God because you said so. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that is good. And we'll see what, if he does what he did for you. Mm-hmm. Well, Brother Joe, my pastor, he says that sometimes we have to fake it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to say that we had to fake some things, but the truth is sometimes we have to fake it, you know, even though we don't feel it. So I'm going to ask you, God's asking you to put both you, feet forward. You can't, you, you can't do this for me. I got to do this for myself. You know what? But you have to sometimes step out on faith and trust. All and right. Well, I'm, I'm, understand, I'm, Brother Joe. I'm going to do it then, Sister Kelly. Okay, come on. I'm going to do it. Yep. I got her name now. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is why I got her name. Because she's been checking on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Somebody cared enough to check on me mm-hmm. and to reach out to me and talk to me. Versus me standing here and all ripped up and everybody's looking at me like, what he got going on? Mm, that's What's his problem? That's good word. It's true. It's true. Some of you here, some of you won't. Mm. This illustration is not just for you, it's just it's for me as well. Mm. So understand, as, I, as I'm sitting here talking, I'm talking to myself as well. Mm-hmm. But we'll get back to it. I tried him, but I need something to help me take the edge off a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm broke. Right. So I'm going to get to it. (laughs) God knows some people. Right. Oh, somebody said, oh, God. <laughs> somebody said, oh, God. Mm-hmm. I want y'all to realize that what I'm talking about is everyday struggle for somebody. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's right. Right now, it seems like entertainment, and some people are find themselves not to be entertained or whatever, and I'm not trying to entertain it, but I'm trying to get a point across, yes. because this is everyday life. Yes. This is what we're dealing with in 2021 and before 2021. Yes. Right. But we ain't talking about it. Mm-mm. Nope. Secrets. Secrets. Mm-hmm. Secrets in the bottom. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I, I like a little. Uh oh. I like a little sip right now and again. It just takes the edge off and helps me out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus turned water into wine. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's what they said. Or were they too drunk to realize that it was just water? <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? 
I'm gonna smoke a little bit of this Mary Joanna. <laughs> because I, no, 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 for real, I have to. Because if I don't, that's right, that's right. right. I, I get anxiety, and I, that's right. I can't, I can't think. Because a lot of things has happened to me, mm. and let me, you know. But while I'm doing that, I gotta get my my, my blunt papers and stuff. And you know, these are these are my. This is how I do. Right, right, right. What you do is what you do. Uh huh. But you know what? God's gonna take that. You know what? God's gonna take that away. So I'm just. You know yes, what? I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. No, you don't need it. So I'm just. You don't need the edibles neither. <laughs> you don't need the edibles neither. I don't. No, brother Joe, I've been there, lived it. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, I'm not smoking it. I'm not selling it. I'm just, I'm just getting the, uh, it's calming me down. But after, I, after you're calm and after the high is gone, your problems are still there. And it's only God that can take them away and help you. Because they're still there. There they go again. There they go again. Brother Joe, God can teach you some different coping mechanisms. Okay. okay. God, God can teach you. He can help you. Yeah, but is drinking is drinking is okay though, right? Yeah. No. No? no. Whoa, we got mixed signals going on in here. <laughs> 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 Brother Joe, God can teach you some different coping mechanisms. Yeah. 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 If I take these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> but it's supposed to make me feel good because I get migraines. Uh-huh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I get migraines. <laughs> so I'm going to take two of these. You say take one, but I'm going to take two. Right, right, right. You know what? Let's take another one. Because it makes me feel good. I can't even get the bottle open. Childproof. I'm going to just take these. Is that cool with y'all? No. 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 That ain't going to get it either? I can stop anytime I want, though, Brother Greg. Okay, I'll prove my point right here. Here's my point. Here's my point that I'm going to prove, brother. I can stop whenever I want, just like I stop smoking weed. I can stop with these pills anytime I want. Mm -hmm. How do I know? Because last year, I stopped for three months. <laughs> <laughs> but I stopped, though. Right, right. Come on. Or did I? Talk about it. Did I take an intermission? Talk about it. What's the, oh, what's that, what's that again, brother? I said all things are permissible. But all things aren't beneficial. What is your destination? What mm. is your purpose? Once purpose is known, destination is set. So the path then becomes easy. You've got no purpose, so you've got no destination. You do not realize that you were born a king. Uh -huh. So once born a king, you were given a kingdom. And so right now, you're choosing your kingdom to be corrupt through unrighteousness. Mm. God had nothing to do with you learning about cocaine. God had nothing to do with you learning about weed. God ain't really impressed that you quit because you should have never started. Come on. In his opinion. Come on. Because you were called to righteousness. But it's good that you're back on track, finish the journey. And the biggest challenge then becomes us, you, us, the body of Christ, and then you discovering your purpose. If we don't present your purpose, if we to you, you'll don't never present it. Amen. So I guess this ain't even my purpose. Long story short, this ain't a part of who I am, so I gotta stop. Is it okay to keep my bag though? No. no. Burn it. <laughs> Y'all got bags. <laughs> Y'all got your own personal bags, come on, come fanny on. packs, and everything else. Birkin bags, whatever you want to call it, it's your bag. Backpacks. But what's in your bag? What they say? What's in your wallet? What's in your bag? Lay aside. Joe, you can get rid of it. Lay aside every weight. Get rid of it. I did. I laid aside every weight. Oh, I guess this is part of the weight. It's amazing. 
has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. Cocaine even had a purpose. Mm. They used it for dentistry. They used it to treat your teeth. But where purpose is not known, abuse it is inevitable. So now I need help. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Who's going to help me? Come on. Because now I done picked up this habit, I done picked up this thing that's now hard for me to put down, so now I find myself addicted to it, just like I was addicted to her. Mm -hmm. So I need something to fill that void. Mm -hmm. So now my house is swept clean. That's right. Come on. Yes, come on. And I need something to fill it. Come on. Before seven more show up, more wicked than the first. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's where we mess up. Yes. We, 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 we find ourselves in a situation where we, we, we're swept clean. And, and everything is clear and it's clean. And, and we're good to go. We're ready to move forward. But we haven't put God in there. We haven't filled ourselves. We haven't allowed God to fill us with his Holy Spirit. To fill up every space. Yes. To allow him to overflow our lives. Yes. We just want to drop from God. Mm -hmm. We just want to just feel his anointing. Woo! Out the quickening. Uh-huh. You know, that was good. Woo! Did y'all hear that? They sang that song. And then you walk back out here and get tore up. Yes. By seven more. Uh-huh. Because guess what? I can apply discipline, but I can lose focus. Mm-hmm. I can lock a door, but I can stand at that door and open it at will. And if I lock that door, guess what? And even if I lose the key, I can still kick it down. I can even do this. Even though it's tangled, mm -hmm. I can retie it. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? You cold both sides of that. Because this time you ain't going to get away. Mm. That cord that you severed, you can always retie that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But I was asking God when he was giving me this particular message, and I thought it was just so much because I'm a, I'm a very visual person. And the way that I think is I wanted to give you something to align with your reality, what you see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And he gave me some words. And I'm just going to read the definition of a couple of them. He said, Lord, master, ruler, leader, chief, mm -hmm. superior, Lord, I, self-consciousness, the ego. Submit, accept or yield control to more to a more superior force, powerful or um, authoritative entity. Uh -huh. Will. The thing that one desires or ordains. And I begin to think about that over and over again. Mm -hmm. The strongest thing that was in there was submit mm -hmm. and will and I and Lord. Yeah, I said all four of them. <laughs> and I said, Lord, well, how do I get free? How do I change this, this, this vicious cycle that we seem to go through every single day on and on and on and on and on? And we seem like we can't defeat this thing. This thing has us. And yes, yeah, so I'm still standing here ripped up. Tore up. Mm -hmm. And y'all expected me to sit down like Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Socks. Would you be mine? <laughs> We're not going to do this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> right, right. Now y'all laughing at me. Come on, come on. Stop. Now y'all laughing at me. So now I feel like a fool. Because mm -hmm. I don't dress like Brother Keith. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sitting on the front row like Jante. Mm -hmm. 
And I can't work in the sound room like 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 Jerry or play play an instrument. Yep, yep. It's bothering you, ain't it? No. 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 <laughs> but go ahead. I want to help you. You want to help me? I want to come up there and I want to take you underneath my wing and I want to take those things away and just walk you through this life and be your accountability. I want your help. And understand this. You don't need my permission. If God has placed that on your heart, you don't need my permission. That's all the permission that you need. Well, see, we need you to be able to yield to it. Well, you need you need you need me to be able to yield to it. We got the pastor out here. He's coming to. Why are you taking my bag, bro? Excuse me. That's my bag. Okay. 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 This is yeah. This is Gavin. This stuff. We got a mess up here. This is Gavin. This stuff. What are y'all doing? But this is mine. This is my life in front of me. Oh, y'all not gonna get that though. Get that. So now all I got is y'all. That's all I got is y'all. Wait, no, don't put that down there. That's my porn. That's my stuff. That's... Do y'all believe that she's going to help me? Yes. Does she have a resume to help me? Yes. Brother Joe, it's not going to be easy every day. He didn't promise us a bed of roses, but he promised that he'd walk with us. He told us in his word that he would never leave us. He would never forsake us. And so, you know, that's what faith is about. That's what trusting God is. And it's amazing because he puts us together in a body. You know what? He gives us one another. And so I need you. You need me. And so we're going to walk through this thing together. And if I don't have it, I know somebody else that might have it. So we have family now? Something that I've never had? We are family. We're going to have some issues, Brother Joe. Because this is... But a family's not supposed to have issues. Oh, oh, I'm no. sorry. We do. We have issues. But guess what? I came from that. I came from a dysfunctional okay, family. Because guess what? We will keep on loving one another. And we'll work through our issues. We'll learn how to communicate. And we, we will get through this. I want this. Thank you, not because y'all telling me. But because my heart knows that y'all mean what y'all say. I've watched y'all for years. And I always sit on the outside wondering if I could be the next person for you to help. Wondering how to articulate my words without sounding like a fool because you guys are so intelligent and you know so much about the Bible and I know nothing. Thank you. There's things I'm still learning. 
Joe. There's no way. You've been walking this life for how many years? Over 30. Over 30 years, and you're still learning. I'm still learning. Every day. You still learning too? Every day, but you know what? I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God loves me. And I know that walking with him is easier than walking without him. Yes, Lord. Mm. I'm a testimony. Amen. Does everybody have a testimony? Amen. Yeah. So y'all think I should walk this thing down? Yes. Amen. When I was writing those words down, It was, the, the four words were, Lord, I submit will. My question at the beginning, if you didn't hear it, and maybe I didn't say it because I was just thinking, but my question to you now is, who's the strong man? Mm -hmm. Who's the strong man? The mind. This is what binds you. This is what controls you and takes over your life if you allow it to. So I wrote down those words and I gave the definition. And it says, Lord, I submit to your will. I submit to your authority, to your hand, mm -hmm. to do what it is that you would have me to do. Because uh -huh. see, at first, I was the strong man uh -huh. bound by myself uh -huh. because nobody else, I would submit to anybody else but myself. Mm -hmm. See, when we hear the word submission, we get scared because we think of it as a bad thing. We think of it as a, as a thing where, what do I do? Where do I go? You know, uh -huh. can't nobody tell me what to do. I'm grown. I couldn't wait to be 18, but here I am today. Stumbling and falling and tripping over myself. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Then I come into here and I bring that same attitude. This young lady was, Sister Kelly was back here helping me. Sister Janet, she felt compelled to help me. Sister Sharice was giving me the testimonies. The pastor came over and took the drugs. He took the weight, he took the chains, and he took the noose out of my life. And I had to realize that one thing for sure. That God loves me. Yes. He cares enough about me to send people yes. to dispatch his own personal angels on his behalf Come on. to me. Amen. Say mm -hmm. it. I can't take that for granted. Mm -hmm. I can't take that lightly. I can't even just uh, uh, um, look at it haphazardly as well. Because God is speaking to them about me. Yes. So, Lord, I submit yes. my strong man right. mm -hmm. to your will. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I submit my strong man to your will because he's the master. Mm -hmm. He's the creator. He's the ruler. Yes. He's the one that, that shows me where I need to go. I am so grateful today. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We struggle the same way that we seen this visual today in our own personal ways. Thank you, Lord. After you get done looking at all of this, this was just all for show, but see, everybody looks nice. Everybody looks nice. Nobody came out looking like me today. Everybody looks nice. But everybody looked like that. When I first came out at one point in time, and probably still do. That's why I said what I said at the beginning. Looks like some of us wore the same outfit. Because we're afraid to be what? Naked. Exposed. If you want to submit to God's will, and you feel the tugging of the Lord on your life, you don't have to rush to the front. You can stand at your seat. Amen. If you want to come to the front, you can come to the front. We'll make room in the front. 
If you just want to stand up, raise your hand, and I tell you what, here's the thing where we miss at. If you can't move because you're bound and you feel like I cannot get up, because I don't want them to know it's me because they see me every Sunday, they see me every week, they've been seeing me for years, and I'm standing in the exact same spot. Then lift your heart up. Come on. Utter the words. Lord, I submit my strong man to your will. Lord, I submit my strong man to your will. Lord, I submit my strong man to your will. If you want to come forward, you can come forward now. And again, This illustration is, is going to show you that God cares. These are the thoughts that we have. God cares enough. God cares about us. He understands that we struggle. He understands, but he says, if you submit yourself to me, then I'll take control of your life. I'll break off those chains. I'll send people in your direction. Thank you, Lord. I'll lead you. I'll guide yes, you. Yes, yes. Trust me. So right now we're gonna go ahead and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Those that weren't able to stand. Thank you, Lord. Right now, Jesus. Those who want to stand and, and, and just stand in your heart. Yes, if you want to come forward, come forward. Thank you, Lord. Right now. But I believe this message has spoken to somebody because it even spoken to me in some areas of my life. See, the thing about being a minister is God to get you first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, with uplifted hands and hearts, gracious Father, right now we come to you humbly, Lord God, Humbly coming to you, submitting our strong man, Lord God. We lay everything, every weight, every chain, every noose, every alcohol, Lord God, every drug, every past, every present, Lord God, that, that lays before you right now. We lay it at your feet, Lord God. We dare not to pick any of it up, Lord God. And we ask that you send people our way, Lord God, and send people to cover us, Lord God, and continue to pray for our lives, Lord God, and set us free and break off the yokes and the bonds, Lord God, that have so easily beset us, Lord God. Allow us not to drown in our sins, Lord God, and, and, and allow us to not have pity on ourselves, Lord God, but, and not to persecute others, Lord God, for your for um for our own personal gain, Lord God. Help us to be mindful, Lord God, of you, Lord God, as we step out these doors, Lord God. Allow us to be changed in a way that we've never been changed before. Even on today, Lord God, we submit to your will, Lord God. Lord, I submit my strong man to your will, Lord God. I submit my strong man to your will, Lord God. I submit my strong man to your will, Lord God. We place our life in your hands, Lord God, because we know you're the only one that can redeem us, Lord God, by your blood. You died for us, Lord God, and we thank you. We are grateful, Lord God. We are so grateful, Lord God, because we're running from a past hurt, a past generational curse, Lord God. We're running from the sins of our fathers, our fathers, fathers, Lord God. And help us to fling forward and be the generational breakers and curses, breakers, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord Father, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for just being who you are. Thank you. And we thank you. We humbly submit yes, Lord. our strong man to your will. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen.